Hi everybody, and Sarah Backus here, and welcome back to Two Boxes. Today's video, I want to just talk to you about the most beautiful shoot I have done just recently. I had a gorgeous, gorgeous model called Hannah, and we wanted to create the most beautiful fairy tale shoot, but also I wanted to really kind of empower her and cheer her up because I feel that empowerment shoots are not you don't have to do sort of like the boudoir and the underwear shoots. It is all about making you feel really, really great. And the concept I had was I wanted her to be like a, a fairy or an elf sort of in the woods, surrounded by sort of golden light. So we waited until about half past six to do these pictures. Um, and I searched my haberdashery as well for some really beautiful voile and I wanted this to kind of be sort of draped around her for her to kind of like either run with it or have it sort of like shielding her as if protection so the the shoot is sort of it depicts kind of a golden haze around you with the most perfect sort of like positive mental attitude now every time I do a shoot, I do try to sort of put my models um, into like a character, whether I'm doing a brand sort of shoot, whether I'm doing sort of headshots, I do like to do all the makeup and I'm gonna to talk to you about the makeup in a minute that I created for the look. But for the minute, I wanted to basically just show you some of the behind the scenes. I'm gonna drop in some of the pictures with some information as well, how I actually shot them. Um, I did the majority of these shots with my Canon. I did use my 6D because it's a little bit lighter weight and it's also really, really great in um, sort of in lower light conditions. And I use my 85 1.8 le uh, mil lens. Now I've shot most of these actually at 1.8 because I think it gives the most beautiful, hazy and dreamy look to them. So have a look at behind the scenes and then I'm gonna talk to you about the makeup that I created for this look. to you about the makeup um, that I used for the entire look I decided <laughs> I've got a dog drinking this water in the background god like every single video of mine there's always something going on in the background 
<laughs> so yeah for the makeup that I wanted this I wanted it again to be very sort of very golden and I wanted her to have really beautiful dewy skin and I was lucky enough to be sent um, a lot of the range from Techniques which is simply the most affordable range. I, when I was basically looking up to put some links in for the blog post, which I've done around the shoot, and you can read about sort of positive mental attitude and and how I how I like to sort of help my clients um, feel really amazing after the shoot and during the shoot. Um, I looked out the range and I was blown away by how reasonable this range is. So what I've basically used, we've had a really, really lovely, um, very, very simple sort of nude lip for, so you can see it there, it's really, really lovely. If I hold that up, you can actually see if it'll focus. Really nice kind of very sort of nude lip. Um, some of the pictures I have um, enhance and put through Lightroom and they do look a little bit pinker so I brought up the pink tones because I do like to um, do a little bit of post-production in Lightroom so what I will tend to do is the, the highlighter and I've mentioned this before in one of my um, make my photographic makeup base videos I find it I think it's really important for highlight because then in Photoshop I can actually highlight even more and just like underneath the arch of the brow down the center of the nose so the two highlighters that I used wear from Techniques and these are the Get Gorgeous. This is the newest one and the pigment on this is just incredible and I do believe that this range, I'm going to put that on the back of my hand and you can see that, it is so so beautiful. This I believe was, I think they're about £3.50 and for me, I really think that the packaging, I don't I don't like the plastic outer case and I do wish it came with a mirror, but you, you do get what you pay for. But the actual product itself inside, this really reminds me a little tiny bit of um, Hourglass. And I've got quite a lot of the Hourglass products with the ripples, like the waves and the, the quality of these products. So this is the lighter one. This is the... Um, I haven't got my glasses on, but this is the lightest one. It doesn't actually have a name, which is doesn't have a name. It's just get gorgeous highlighting um, highlighting powder. But this one is the more kind of the pinky shade, and I'm going to put that on the back of the hand so you can see. Now this is really beautiful and so finely milled. I have got it on today, and it's gorgeous. And for her eyes, I used. Um, this palette now I wanted Hannah's skin to and her face and her eyeshadow to really kind of bring out the sort of like the auburns in her eyes because she's got the most beautiful naturally gorgeous curly red hair so I wanted to kind of use the sort of the more kind of like the, the golden shades for her eyes and then underneath the arch as well, I put a little tiny bit of this one. And also, her hair, what I wanted, I wanted her to have really, really big, curly, like, pre-Raphaelite, sort of voluptuous curls. So I basically ran through with the Babyliss Pro Curl all through her hair. And I think it's really simple. I wanted to keep her very sort of natural but dewy looking. And yeah, I think the pictures have turned out really, really well. They, I have put them through Photoshop and very, very slightly tweaked them and lifted. And she's got beautiful skin, but any sort of like little blemishes and stuff I took out. But that was a really beautiful shoot I did for her. And she felt really great afterwards. No matter what pictures I do for anybody and any of my clients, for me, it's really important that the beauty prep is done. So things like, even like the nails, and we did HD brows the day before as well. So she looked the best she possibly could because I don't like to Photoshop that much. I will do obviously if it's got people have got a few blemishes, but I think you can actually do it very naturally with a, with a lot of prep. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe. Please check out twoboxes.co.uk and see everything else that we do because I do lots of brand photography and portraits and I do children and I've been encouraged to do pets just recently. So make sure you subscribe and I will see you again next time guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. <laughs>